What is up in the army? I am Gamenear5 coming at you with a brand new video and welcome back to a power ranking. Yeah, we don't do these often, do we? Uh, this is the second power ranking I'm doing. Uh, the last one I did was Lego games. And I actually really enjoyed doing the power ranking, so that is why I am back with another power ranking. This time with, uh, this time I am ranking Pixar. Uh, the Pixar films. All 23 films. Uh, worst to best. 23 being the worst. Number one obviously being the best. Um, so... We will start with 23 and then work our way to 1. If you didn't see the last one, I'm just explaining how we did it. do it. So, uh, yeah. Uh, with that, um, let's get to work, shall we? Uh, let's, uh, I guess, uh, start this off with number 23. And that is the good dinosaur. Th this would just th th yeah um I know I I I've, I talked with I b the day before I was filming this and she said Cars Two would be her last one uh no this one's my last one mostly because for me what makes me like a film is if I feel engaged while watching it this film didn't feel engaged while watching it at all and uh, yeah. So, you you will hear me go to go to that quite a bit. Um, feeling engaged. If I don't feel engaged in a, if a, one of these films I didn't feel that engaged in, then it's not gonna be that high, uh, that high. It's gonna be quite low. But um, there's uh, some films like this one that I don't really like. There's some that I really like, and then there's some that are just. Pretty much the ones in the middle are just kind of a toss-up. So, uh, yeah. So, um, n let's move on to number 22. Uh, also, this is probably going to be the most controversial countdown I've ever done. So, number 22 is Brave. Now, I know some of these are pixelated. I had to, I was trying to get the, um, Covers, uh, like, I mean, the the posters. Some I nailed it, some I didn't. This one I didn't nail it. It's very pixelated. Anyway, uh, Brave at 22. Um, once again, pretty much the exact same reason. I haven't watched this recently. I just, uh, a lot of Pixar films. I can remember a lot of parts in certain films easily. This one I can't remember anything. <laughs> Number one, don't feel engaged in in the story and and in the movie. I it just doesn't engage with me. And then, uh, well, then, um, uh, well, as I said, I didn't really. F uh, well, if I don't follow along with the storyline, uh, uh, that's also kind of a thing. That then I won't. Probably uh, have that high. This is what I did not follow along. <laughs> well, I remember that. And, uh, yeah. So, with that, moving on. Number twenty At number 21, probably really controversial. Note, won an award. But, um, just, I didn't feel engaged with it. Didn't really, and, uh, yeah. That is Toy Story 4. At 21, I understand. In my view, they could have ended at three. Um, so I that's also a reason why I have it this low. I really feel like they could have just wrapped it up at Toy Story three and and that be it. But um, I just I wasn't engaged. I I could I didn't even feel up to finishing the film. Like that's how unengaged I was in this film. So, you might be wondering, why is this one not, uh, last? Well, it's 21. It's close to last. <laughs> the other, so, um, 
Yeah, I I just I didn't feel engaged. Uh, don't get me wrong, I understand it was a lot of people really enjoyed it. I just did. I just I just didn't really enjoy this film. I didn't get through it. So uh, yeah, with that, let's move to number twenty. And uh, it might be kind of. You, you, it might be understandable, might be uh, not understandable, but we'll see. At number 20, Finding Dory. I didn't, I don't get it. I did I, yeah. Um, it just, I, I didn't really, I, once again, I, out of the, out of all these one, the bottom four. This one I do feel engaged with. Just I kind of get I kind of got lost quite a bit uh, when uh, when uh, watching the film. It, it didn't really make that much sense to me. So uh, it's kind of why I just placed it here. This one was just kind of a one that fell. I didn't want to put it too high, so it just fell at twenty. So. Then, uh, then 19. This one I was pretty, uh, pretty, uh, solid with, uh, right when I was doing this. Well, actually, no, th this is at the point that they're all kind of toss-up. Some of them aren't, some of them are. This next one's kind of a toss-up. It could be moved down or up. I literally, I, I, yeah. And that is at number 19. Ratatouille. Now I under I understand it. I I like the I uh, I have watched this a lot of times, a lot more times than a lot of these films, except the, when we get to the top of the list. But um, I understand it. I just it, it it's not really that engaging with me. Um, but it is a good film after anyways. It's just, it doesn't really engage with me, just, um, and the storyline I don't think is, is the best. Keep in mind, this is a, per, this one's one of the oldest ones on here. So, uh, yeah. But, um, even though I like some of the oldest ones, uh, some of their oldest films are in, uh, La High. So, um, yeah, I just... This, as I said, this one could be moved. I, I just, I'm not really, uh, I kind of like some more than this, but, th like, this one literally just fell, <laughs> where it fell here. So, um, yeah. Number 18, Toy Story 3. Um, well, I like it. Just, um, there are some parts, like the last one, this one's a toss-up, it could be a lot higher, just, I like the ones better than it, so, I, well, I say that there's one in here that I just literally ran out of spaces, so, um, I like this film, I just, I feel like there's Pixar films that are done better than it, so, I under, and, it's higher than Toy Story 4, but not by much. But, um, I do, uh, I feel like this could have been, the f this should have been the final one. But, um, it wasn't, and I still don't understand why it wasn't the uh, final one. So, uh, yeah. Then, moving on, number 17, and, uh, this one I just like because I have good memories of it. I remember parts of it. And uh, I don't know why I didn't put it higher, honestly. But at number 17, Inside Out. Um, I, rem I remember this one very well. I've actually looked up clips recently of the film. I really like it. It's really nice. I, it is one of the best uh, in my view, it's one of the best Pixar films they've made, just, in my view, there's, a l like, there's more, there's more that I like, uh, there's 16 more that I like, 
more than this. And two that are just iffy. Anyway, uh, with that, um, that's where Inside Out is. I remember this one very well, and um, I I do like some clips in this. Some clips I don't, but uh, like uh, when I look up clips, I know what to look up if I just wanna have laughs or stuff. Look up anger. So <laughs> anyway, with that, let's move number sixteen. Finding Nemo at number 16, um, well, do I need to say anything else? Okay. I, I like, I like Finding Nemo more than Finding Dory, and, um, that's pretty much all I can say, just, um, it should be lower than Inside Out, to be honest, I do remember it pretty well, though. So, I, uh, like, this is, uh, one of the first Pixar films I ever actually watched, and, um, and I can't even remember what year this came out in. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it was a good film, don't get me wrong, the next two are, are weird, uh, placings, but this one's up and down, same with, uh, Inside Out, and, and, um, and Toy Story 3, and Ratatouille, all those could, all of these could literally be moved around. The two and, f two, the two next ones, 15 and 14, I just ran out of space. <laughs> I literally ran out of space, I'm not gonna lie, I lit that's literally what happened. So, uh, number 15 on my ranking is The Bug's Life. Literally on the reason why uh, on the reason of I literally ran out of space. I would have had this a lot lower. This probably would have gone where Ratatouille was. Just um one one two uh don't write rankings in pen. <laughs> Bad idea. Anyway, uh, a bug's life at fifteenth, and this one could be a it would be a lot lower. I just ran out of space, and um. I know it's one of the oldest films they've done. That's also one of the reasons why I have it as high as it is. Because it's just, it's so, so old. And I just, it's like the second film they ever re released. I just, I couldn't, in, with good heart, actually put this low. Because I know, um, back then, when this was released, nothing was as good as what they had now. The animation system out there was nowhere near as good as what it is. So, of course, I would put uh, this one and the other one that was released uh, in the same era. The first ever Pixar film, which uh, number 14 is. As the two right next to each other. <laughs> Pretty much the middle of the pack. So, Toy Story, I, I have fond memories of... It's a really good film. It was their first ever film, but I do find it weird they have Walt Disney Pictures on here as well. I know that, um, uh, this might be the wrong picture, but, um, Toy Story was actually not, um, this probably is the wrong poster, but I needed the poster. This is the only one I could find. So, uh, Disney did, uh, wasn't actually, didn't actually own Pixar when this film or Bugs Life came out. Uh, uh, Apple did. <laughs> Apple did, yeah. Yeah, Apple did. I got the wrong poster, I just noticed it for this one, but I'm not, I'm recording this, it's too late to fix it. But, uh, this one, and the last one, I just have them here, mostly because I know the things after this, uh, the technology is a lot better, uh, sort of, <laughs> I will say, that's the sort of, <laughs> uh, this one, uh, pretty much the same time frame. Anyway, with that, I like it, just not one of my favorites, even though it's original, that's why it's this high. So, uh, moving on, number 13, probably the most controversial one in this entire list. Where I know a lot of people would put probably very last 
Cards tail. Uh number one, I I really like the Cards franchise. That's probably one of them that probably gives it a lot of the reasoning why it's so high. But um I do like the storyline. I do understand that the agent part uh really does not make that much sense. But uh I do like the film. Just, there are some parts of the film that I don't really like. This is a film I can actually watch and enjoy the entire time. Like, the whole time. So, I do like it. I like it more than uh, all, pretty much all the previous ones. Pretty much all the next films. Uh, they're all pretty much just hit or... The, well, the next two... Uh, before the top 10 are just kind of hit or hit and misses. But, uh, well, as I literally ran out of space in my top 10. But, uh, the one at 11 is, I don't even know why I put it there. <laughs> anyway, uh, for number 13, 13, Curves 2, it was a good film. I know the agent part didn't really make sense. And the whole storyline probably didn't really make that much sense. To me, I still enjoyed it. I still liked it. And, uh, yeah, so, moving on to number 12, the newest film by Pixar, Soul, and as I said, I just pretty much had my top 10 full, and, uh, I just, uh, when I do these, I do top 10 first, and then I do the rest. This one, I put, this one in particular, I did uh, my top 10, then I did 23, then I did 11, then I just filled in the rest. So, okay. this one, pretty much is just a fill-in. I just, I like it, just there are Pixar films that are better. And those are the 10 that are in my top 10. But, um, plus the next one, which is 11. But, um, I do like it, I understand it, I, I do like the storyline of it, and, um, I do like that they actually made this film during a pandemic, and the way they did it, and the stuff, it really, it, like, if it wasn't for that, it probably would be lower, I do like it, though, so, uh, with that, let's head number 11, and that is... Toy Story 2, this one I nailed the poster of, so, Toy Story 2 at 11, um, why is this, that a lot of you are probably screaming at your, at your computer, iPad, phone, TV, whatever you're watching this on, probably screaming, why is this higher than Toy Story 1, it's at the same time, for, it was released pretty much at the exact same time, well, I remember so many parts of this, <laughs> and um, I actually like this one a lot more. It pretty much made the group uh, the entirety of what it is today. So, um, in Toy Story three, but um, uh, Toy Story two, I really like. It was a big step uh, in the step forward. I do really like it. It was a really nice film. And, uh, yeah. Just, it's not as good, in my view, as the next ten. And if you know which ten are left, then, and if you know me very well, you know what's gonna be number one. But, uh, let's fill in the rest, ten, two, through two. Because number one, if you know me, is pretty much a given. So. Anyway, number 10, Coco, and, um, I really like this film, I actually watched it for the first time to actually make this ranking, and I actually really enjoyed the ending and stuff, it was actually a really nice look into, um, kind of the Mexican culture and stuff. Like, I really liked the idea of it. It was a really, really well done film. And that's why it got itself into the top 10 at number 10. 
I really like it. It's really nice. It was a great addition to the Pixar family. And now, number nine. Up! Now, this one, some parts of it are iffy. This could have been lower than Coco, but I just, I do like the idea of it. It's a good, it's a group, gr good group of characters. Probably the funniest thing about it is the cost of squirrel. <laughs> uh, I love that part. That that's the funniest part. But um, yeah, I I, I really like this. It doesn't have that much logic, <laughs> but it is a really nice film. I do like it quite a bit. Now moving number eight. Monsters University at number eight, and I will give it something. It gave us a sequel, kind of. Well, I guess you could also get call it a prequel, as it kind of gave us some uh shadow, some light into what uh how they got to Monsters Inc. and stuff at the end and everything that's happened. Did give us a lot of, uh, it did tell us a lot. So I do like it for that reasoning. Just, it, it's not as good as, uh, the next seven. So, um, yeah. Um, so, M, M U, pretty good. I, and, um, a lot better than, uh, some of them. So, uh, at least it's better than some of the sequels we've had. And, uh, yeah. So, next up, another sequel. And that is The Incredibles 2 at number 7. And, um, I do like this. Um, a lot of shorts came out of this film. And that made it quite a bit funner. Because if there's something that can be taken and... If they can add stuff onto it with shorts, I think that's amazing. I did like the storyline with it. I think it really played off of ep of the first one, literally kind of picked up like right off, uh, or the very beginning picked off right off after Incredibles one. We even played through this mo movie in uh in the Lego Incredibles game. I would have that pop up, but I'm not. Not that crazy. Anyway, with that, I did like it. I know a lot of people would probably have this higher. It was a very well done film. So, with that, number six. Cars 3. I think this was a very good film. If, if they decide to make this the last Cars film, I could understand it. If they don't, well, I could understand that too. They could cover Cruz now and uh, have Lightning as her crew chief. But uh, it was a good episode. Kind of, uh, it was a good film, kind of passing the torch from Lightning to Cruz and uh, kind of bringing in the new era of racing and stuff. I did really like it as. NASCAR is starting to kind of fall apart, or fade away in, in spotlight, in my view. So, uh, and other races, racing types are kind of coming up. And, uh, I do like this, and, um, it real I really liked Cars 3, and, um, number 6, mostly just because I like the other 5 better. And you know what are left. They're all old except for one. And uh, let's go. Number five. The Incredibles. And um, I really, really liked this film. It is a little weird at parts. But um, it is a very well done film. It was Pixar's uh, take on superheroes. Pretty much in, like, if they were to make, like, their Avengers, this would be it. And I think it was very well done. It's a very good film. 
I really like it. It really shows their downfall and then pretty much their uprising in the shadows. And then at number two was them getting back public and stuff. I really liked it. It was a very good film. I still have fond memories of it. Especially because we played through this. That probably helped it a little bit. Same with Incredibles 2. But um, then at number four. The little, little robot that, that has such a big heart, and that is Wally. -E. <laughs> I really like Wally. -E. I like the, I like this one. The storyline is always so, so good to watch. It's so, um, it's actually kind of sad at some points. It's heartwarming at the end, and sad at the end at the same time, but I really liked the way they did it. It kind of shows what the world could be like and stuff. Like, it is a very well done film. I really like the way they did this one. It was a very good film. It could have easily been three, but, um, Wally at number four, and I think it's well earned. I really like this film, especially the kind of romantic uh, stuff between Wally and Eve, and especially him trying to protect Eve once uh, she's in lockdown, and then um, getting struck by a lightning bolt <laughs> uh, when holding an umbrella. That was funny. <laughs> it's a middle guy holding an umbrella, protecting another, pretty much another metal thing. If any... The, if it, a lightning bolt were to strike anything, it would be Wally. So it's just funny. But <laughs> um, then at number three, we have Monsters Inc. And I really like this film. I've watched the film very recently. I do like that. Um, uh, there's even a show coming for it, and uh. We don't know when that's coming, but I think that'll be very nice to see. But, um, Monsters, Inc., I really like. It's a really nice film. It is, um, to date, one of my favorite, uh, Pixar films and could have easily been number two. But, um, right when the next one came out, I really liked it. And we'll get to it in a little bit. But Monsters, Inc., at, Inc., at number three... I really like this film. It's a very well done film, and uh, it kind of does. Uh, it real, really, really does well. Especially if you add Monsters University and Monsters Inc. together, it's literally kind of showing their entire timeline. They could easily make another film and have it be in between University and Inc. and the, or after uh, after the. Uh, what after the stuff that happened in this film, they could easily have a film, but I think that's what the show is kind of going to be covering. But, um, number two, Onward. This one is the Onward is on as soon as I first watched it, I watched it like right away, as soon as it went on to Disney. Plus. It was amazing. It I really liked it. I've watched this film like five times since it came out. And I really like it. It's one of the most well done Pixar films probably ever. And uh, then, well, for me there's one that's more well done. But out of all the most recent films, I think this one's the most well done. And um, I really like it. It's really nice. and. I don't know if anyone will agree that this one's number two, but as I said, Monsters Inc. was num would have been number two if Onward didn't come out. But um, so with that, number one. If you know all Pixar films, you know what is number one, and that is my not my all-time favorite film. No matter what, I always have loved this film. 
It has always been my favorite, no matter what. Nothing can change that, probably ever. And, uh, that is... Oh, what the... And that is Cars. It is one of my... It is my all-time favorite film I have ever watched. It is so amazing. And it... I love the storyline. I love uh, the characters in this film. Um, like everything in this film is just top notch. In my view, this is one of the best Pixar. This is the best Pixar film they have made, and I don't think they can top it unless they do uh, another one. And then I'll probably do a mini version of this list, updating it. Anyway, with that. Um, I do really like this film, and, um, it, it's the, my all-time favorite film. I love the storyline, I love the premise of it, it, I can stay engaged with this film the entire way through, even when I'm really tired, <laughs> like, um, and I know, uh, one of my friends, it's probably the same for him, but, um, I really like this film. It is one of my, it is my favorite Pixar film. And with that, with Cars being number one, do you agree with our list? I have a good suspicion that not everyone will. So I hope you all enjoy the video. And before we leave, what ranking do you want to see us tackle next? With that, guys, I'm Game Near Five coming at uh, sign off. See you later, near me. Stay cool and have fun. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Goodbye.